So we have another update from our source located within NVIDIA. The company's next generation super graphics cards are finally making their way onto the laptop side of things and will be available starting in May at the latest. The embargo for the information is currently scheduled to lift on 331, which is March 31st, along with Intel's 10th generation mobility processors. Although NVIDIA or Intel could easily move this date around as they have done so in the past. It looks like NVIDIA is introducing at least six new graphics cards to its mobility space to replace the existing lineup. From the timeline given within the documents that we have with us, these parts should become available starting in April. According to the information that we have, NVIDIA is planning to introduce these new chips at the same price point as their older variants. This means that gamers will very soon have access to a higher tier of performance in the same budget. So ready for some of those changes? Okay, the GTX 1050 3 gigabyte will be getting bumped to the GTX 1654 gigabytes. However, it will be paired with GDDR6 this time. And the GTX 1650 as it stands will be getting tiered up to the GTX 1650 Ti that will be sporting a higher core count and an upgraded memory spec to GDDR6 as well. Past that, we're looking at 2060 Super, 2070 Super, and 2080 Super variants of those cards replacing the current stack. With these new replacements, gamers will have access to more affordable gaming laptops and even entry-level SKUs will ship with the more powerful GTX 1650 graphics card with GDDR6 memory. This also fits into NVIDIA's overall master plan to increase their total available market for laptops and make them portable gaming powerhouses. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.